what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I've got a marvelous feeling that on this Sunday morning in August, everything is going your way. Welcome to the Voice of Hope Connection. I'm your host, D. Foster Three, CEO and President of Wake Up Global Networks International, and I'm so glad you decided to join us today. Listen, before we get started, I want you to smash that like, share, follow, you know the routine, subscribe to the channel, and support the channel, push it forth, and of course, put the link of this particular Voice of Hope Connection in your contacts, because it's dedicated to a very, very special group of people. Now, before I get started with the regular announcements and reminders, I want you to go get those people that are going back to school. I'm gonna give you about three minutes to go find, call, text people who are attending college, high school, uh, trade school, uh, vocational school, a uh, hair school, a uh, nursing school, because there is a word for those of you especially who are going back to school. Time flies, wow. It is end of August almost, almost September. People getting in their final destinations, but there is a word. Now, why you go get them, why you send them the link, why you text them, why you uh, do whatever you gotta do to get them in on this shout out to the replay crew. But have you watched The Voice Over Now podcast? It uploads live every Friday, 5 p.m. Well, hey, listen, like we say, if you love it straight, no chaser, then that's the show to watch. And of course, on Wednesday, the Voice Over Audio Today audio podcast, where we give you just a snippet of what's going on in the culture and bring our own individualized perspective. I want to say shout out to April J, owner and operator of WPBmedianetworks.com, which gives us a voice, gives us a platform to have our voice heard. And we wanna say shout out and blessings to April J and her family and even her children, I can't call them children, her daughters, as I'm sure they're going back to school or starting something brand new. Now, is everybody gathered around? Okay, I, wanna, I wanted to wait, I wanted to wait. I wanted to wait. I wanted to wait. Yeah, come on, come on. I, I'm not going to be long. I know I know you're busy. I know you can ready to go out. I know you can ready to have brunch. I know you can, I, 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 that's right. They're going to school. You're going back to school. I need you. I need you. I need you. I need you. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on. You're starting something new. You're starting something new. Maybe you're not going back to school, but you're starting some, a new endeavor, a new job. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Well, you know, every week I say we don't know what the future holds. We only can expect and prepare for the best. But if things some how go astray as they oft times will. One of the things that we can be guaranteed that there is a word from the Lord to carry us, to maneuver us through a week. I don't know about anybody else, but I'll be transparent and honest. This was a very trying week, but here I am on Sunday morning, beginning a brand new week. All last week was, ah, 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 ah. but guess what? We made it through. And that's what I tell you each and every week. I can't predict what's going to happen, all the ins and the outs and the details. But one thing I can promise you, that there is a word, if you cling to it, there is a hope connection that will bring you through the week. Now, this week, I'm dedicating all of this to those of you who are starting something new or you're going back to school with ever level, elementary, college, even to the teachers, the instructors, those who work in maintenance, the cafeteria, there is a word. Now, most people, we're in school for whatever reason, let's take the average high school uh, up to the 12th grade and even uh, college a year, right? Say nine months. Even if you're going to college, it's usually from August to about May, eight to nine months. That's a whole lot of block of time. If you're starting in September to June, that's a lot of block of time. And what usually happens, come in, let me, let me speak to you. Let me speak to you. I believe this is going to help you, is that we get anxiety because uh, we look from the start date to the finish date and envision how much we will have to accomplish to achieve our desired outcome. But today on this Voice of Hope Connection. Did I tell you to share this? Because somebody needs this. Uh, I want you to have a different perspective. There is a famous Chinese proverb which says that 
the journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step. Ah, that's it. That took away the anxiety. Let me, let me break it down. Let me break it down. The journey of nine months of class, the journey of nine months of orientation, the journey of nine months of studying, the journey of nine months of homework begins with taking the first step. And for the fact that you, I got some better news. Aren't you glad you tuned in this morning? For the fact that you have already enrolled, for the fact that you are getting ready to go, for the fact that you're getting ready to travel to college, for the fact that you're getting ready to catch the school bus on the, the next couple of weeks, means that you have already taken the first step. I wanna applaud you for that because you, you, you can have all the aspirations in the world. You can have all the desires in the world. But until you take the first step, here it is. Let me give you a word. Faith without works is dead. In other words, it yields no results. So here it is. So the journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step. And then the second step. See, 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 that's where we mess up. We, we, we may agree that the journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step, but many times psychologically and full of anxiety, after we take the first step, we want to skip steps. We want to think about, okay, I started school. I'm finished through orientation. I've been through uh, all of my, I met with all of my counselors. I know my classes. Now, oh, I got this life until May. Oh, I got this life until June. No. The journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step, deciding to go and enrolling. The journey of a thousand miles begins with the second step, attending the first day. Are y'all getting it? The journey of a thousand miles begins with the next step, applying myself. All I stopped by to tell you this morning on the Voice of Hope Connection is take it day by day. Day. See, this is what I learned. That, and I tell this in all of the places I go when I teach leadership and even apply it in my own leadership. A ship, a large vessel, is turned a little bit at a time. If you jerk the ship, right, your nine months, your eight months, your 10 months, your two years to get your master's, your doctorate, if you jerk the ship and try to take it all at once, something is going to be lost overboard. Or let me paraphrase, overload. If you try to turn the ship of nine months all at once, you will experience loss. And in this case, the loss will be overload. The loss will be burnt out. The loss will be anxiety. So I've just simply stopped by this morning for most of you will begin school sometime this week or next week to share with you that the journey of a successful nine month journey, the journey of a successful two year program journey or whatever you're doing, it starts with every day taking one step at a time. That's it. That's it. Martin Luther King says, God will never show you the whole staircase. But what happens is you take one step at a time. I wake up the next morning and take another step. I don't look up and say, OMG, OMG, look at all those steps I got. No, 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 no. That's how you get weary. That's how you get burnt out. That's how you get discouraged. But when I take one step on Monday, Another step on Tuesday, just taking one step. Another step on Wednesday. Another step on Thursday, I'm working my way. Another step on Friday. One day, I'm gonna look around and I would have mastered the entire staircase. That's, that's the mentality that I want you to have this year. As you go back to school, as you apply yourself, understanding that yeah, you may have a thousand miles to go. You may have 10,000 miles to go. 
but you can't go them all at once. You, you, you can't cover 10,000 miles in a day. You can't cover 5,000 miles. You can't cover 500 miles, and I'm talking about uh, academically now, in a day. But what I can do, I know I can cover one mile at least, and that's the mile I'll cover. And when I cover the first step, I'm one step closer to completing my journey of a thousand miles. Only have 999 to go, which means I'm closer than when I first began. I just wanted to encourage, all right, now see, you can go do what you want to do. Just make sure you share, make sure you follow, make sure you like this, follow us, on our social media, on uh, Wake Up Global Networks, on Facebook, Wake Up Global Networks, on Instagram, Wake Up Global Media, Wake Up Global Media, on Twitter or X, it's W-G-N-I-N-C, and on TikTok is Voice Over Pod. Until next week, remember, the journey of your whole school year begins with getting up every day, applying yourself, and taking one step at a time. Until next week, this is D Foster 3 reminding you there is hope that you can do it. Let's stay connected to it.